if you're working with more than one seats, you might want to rearrange it. Uh, for example, here I have data, more data, and table right here. So if I want to move the table in between, I'm, I'm simply going to click and drag it uh, in between to move it in between. If I want to uh, drag it in, in the beginning, let's say click and drag it, you can see that there's a, tra a triangle right there and drag it. And that's how you move the, your uh, seat right there. You can also right click and click on move right here and then create a copy. Uh, to create a copy, you can simply do this. For now, I'm going to move to end and press OK and that moves to the end just like that. So if you have way too many da data and you want to move something to the end, that might come in handy instead of drag dragging all across. Another, th another thing is if you want to create a copy, so you can right click, go to move a copy and choose create a copy. And I'm going to choose table right here and press OK. And there you can see that now I got two copies right there. You can also create a copy just like this. So let's select create a copy over here. And I want to create a new workbook out of it. So I'm going to choose new book, press OK. And that actually brings up a new book. So this is book two. So you can see that it created a separate copy of the file in a separate workbook. All right. So now another thing is that uh, let's say, for example, if I insert a row over here, so let's say insert, it only inserts row to this table, um, a table seat right here, not in this one. So what if I want to insert a row in all of the, um, all of the uh, uh, seats right here? So in that case, I can hold shift, select the last table right here, select the last seat and select the first. That way, all of the, uh, all of the seats are selected. And as you can see here, now it says group. So now I can right click and insert right here. Now what it does is that you can see that now it has inserted a row in all of the column right here. Yeah, so you can insert a row or a column just like that. So if you want to select just let's say two of the, uh, uh, two of the seats without actually selecting this, then you can actually do this. Select, select the data right here. Uh, select more data, uh, the one uh, of the seat, hold control and select the other seat right here. So now only these two seats are grouped together. So you can right click and insert and there you go. So you, now you can see that um, it has inserted row in only these two seats right there. To move out of the ungroup, you can actually click on the, um, um, the uh, seat which is not in the group like the table two or you can right click and ungroup seats and that will ungroup the seats right there so that so that uh, if you insert a row or a data then uh, it won't be copied across all of the seats right there so that is how you can move copy and group seats together in microsoft excel hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe